Hello everyone, I'm Ola and this is Coding is for Girls. In this episode, we will learn how to read and write files in Python. So let's get started. We could implement a program that is waiting for us to create a file in desktop that is called secret.txt and then open that, read the content and add the line I know your secrets at the very bottom of the file. And to make the things simple for us, we'll just stick to the text files so we will not have any images or any formatting. Let's create a file called readsecrets.py. What we would like to have is a while loop that is checking if there is a file called secret.txt on our desktop. And we want to check that all the time. So in the moment we are creating the file, program will do something with that and then stop. Let's start with defining variable. We will call it check file and we first assign true to that. Value of this variable will tell us if we want to check for existence of the secret.txt file on desktop. And as long as this value is true, we will keep repeating that in a while loop. Now we will type while check file colon. And inside we want to check if the file really exists inside desktop folder. But we don't know yet how to do that in Python. And here comes Python OS model for the rescue. But wait, what is a model? In all my previous videos, we kept creating different Python files and they were containing variables and functions. And we even split some of them into smaller pieces and using from something import structure, we managed to use code from one file in another. And model in Python is exactly like this. It's a file or a directory of multiple files containing different variables and functions that we can import and then use whenever we need that. And I hope that you remember that we did something like this when we talked about functions and I will place the link in the description below so you know which video I'm talking about. And to make programmers' life even easier, Python comes with some stuff that is already written for you and ready to use, so-called standard modules. And if you are curious what is available for you in standard modules, make sure to check Python library reference. As always, link will be in description below. But let's go back to OS model, or to be more precise, to os.puff model. This model contains a lot of interesting functions that help you to deal with files. So what we want to do in our program? Step one is to check if the secret.txt file exists in desktop. And the good news is that os.path model contains the function that will help us with that. It's called exists. If we check Python documentation, we will see that this function require one argument, path. But what is path, you'll ask? Path is a string that defines the location of a file or a folder. If you remember a command line video, there was a command called pwd or on Windows that was cd that let us know where on our computer which folder we are in. And this will be handy right now for us. So let's open command line and navigate to desktop. CD desktop, and now let's type pwd and click enter. It says we are in a slash user slash, now there is a name of your user, slash desktop. Okay, so let's use this value in our program. But first, we need to import OS module. So let Python know we want to use functions and variables from this module. And maybe you remember that to import something, to let Python know how to use code that is outside of the current file, we use construction from something, import, and the name of the thing we want to import. But there is also other way, and if you want to 
import everything from the module or the file, you just type import and the name of the module. And I will use latter in this case. So we will type import OS. That means that we are importing Python standard library or module called OS. The convention is to do all the imports at the beginning of the file. Then inside while loop body, we will type os.path.exists. And in the parentheses, we'll place the text we just copied from the command line. It is called the path. Now, since we want to check if the secret.txt exists in this location, we'll add secret.txt after the slash at the end of the path. Python documentation states that exist function returns either true or false. So let's store the result in some variable. Let's call it file exists. Now, if the file is there, let's print some message. So we will type if file exists, print secret.txt file exists. We would like our program to wait until someone creates the file print information that the file exists and close. So all we need to do here is simply set check file to false. Okay, let's save and run in the console. Python free read secrets.py. When we click enter, Python starts running, but nothing really happens. It goes over and over again inside while loop checking if the file exists. Let's create a file on desktop that is called secret.txt. I can do it in Atom, and as you can see, the moment I saved this file, my Python program wrote secret.txt file exists, and it closed. Yay! That's the success! Now the only remaining bit is to open the file, read the content, and add the line at the very end of the file. And to open the file we will use python open function. We will use the same path to the file we used to check if the file exists. So it's a good idea to store this value in the variable and reuse it. So we will type path to file and then we will copy paste the path. Then we will replace text inside exists function with this variable. If the file exists, we will use open function to open the file. So let's type secret file because we want to have this file in the variable equals open path to file. Now we would like to print everything inside the text file, line by line. And we can do that like this. For line in secret file, colon, and in the body we will print line. So we go row by row and print everything. Finally, since we opened the file, we also need to close it. We do that by typing secretfile.close. Okay, we are done here. Time to save and run our program in console. But first, let's add something inside our secret secret.txt file. I think I will write hello world. This is a super secret file. I will also make sure to save. Now, when we run our script in console, so I will type python read, read secret.py, we see that everything from the file was printed. Congratulations, you just learned how to read files in Python. But we are not done yet. We still need to add I know your secrets line at the very end of the file. In Python, there is a method write that allows us to do that. Let's try that, just before the line we are closing the file. So secret file dot write, I know your secrets. Cool. Let's save and try to run it in console. Oh no, there is an error. The error says that file not open for writing. Well, why is that? Python open function opens the file in read-only mode by default, so we cannot write anything to the file. And if we take a closer look at Python documentation for open function, we'll discover that this function has optional argument that defines what kind of operation we want to do with the file. Either we want to read, write, append, or maybe a mix of those. What we want to do in our program is pretty much just reading and appending to the file. So we will need two modes, R for reading and appending. And this function expects us to write it as R plus. So let's add it as a second argument. 
Now we will save and run in the console python free read secrets.py. We have a content of the file printed and if we'll open secret.txt file again, we will notice that the line with I know your secrets is added to the file. Congratulations! Now let's try everything again. Let's delete secret.txt file. Now we will run our program, python free read secrets.py, which is waiting for us to create secrets.txt file. So time to create one. And we will add text like, hi there, here is my password, my password. Now we see that our Python script worked and printed content on the file. And we can see that extra line with I know your secrets is there. Amazing job! You just learned how to read and write files in Python. And you can do so many interesting things with that. So I encourage you to look at the Python documentation and read a little bit more about files and how to handle them. And if you don't want to miss any of my videos, and you want to learn how to program with me, make sure to subscribe to this channel and stay tuned. Have a lovely day and see you!